Hey guys, this is Austin back with Dream and Rotary. This is going to be a really short video for Duramax guys. Um, I figure I might as well make this video because I'm already in here digging in the coolant thermostat area. And while I was in there, I had bought a PPE ported fuel rail that or fuel rail fitting. And I wanted to put it in there because I knew you had to have the thermostat housing off to do it. So I stuck one on the driver's side. So this one's going to be specifically driver's side PPE ported fuel rail fitting. It wasn't a terrible job at all. Honestly, that was way easier than most of the rest of the thermostat stuff. Uh, you basically just have to have the thermostat housing off so you can reach down in there and you can reach into the driver's side fuel rail pretty easy. And you have two 17 millimeter uh, flare or two 17 millimeter pipe uh, fittings that are holding on the return line, I believe, for the driver's side of the fuel rail. And so once you get the top one off, you go work on the bottom one, unscrew that, and then you actually have to take the fuel rail return line off the hard line. And then I just set it up on top and set it in the orientation that I pulled it out on so it's easy to remember how to replace it. Then I ended up using a 22 millimeter socket on the fitting itself and that came off pretty easy honestly it's kind of a weird angle like stuff gets in the way but if you just kind of crank on it with a, a half inch pry bar and a half inch long extension uh, or long uh, what do they call that uh, if you pry on it with a deep 22 millimeter half inch socket you can get in there it's just a really tight fit but I got it out, got the new one in. I was able to put the new fuel line on. It was really fast. Um, the head cam video that I have was actually for the thermostat series that I'm working on. So go check that out if you wanna see how to replace thermostats in a Duramax. This video is specifically gonna be for that driver's side fuel rail fitting replacement with the PPE race ported race valve. So. I will cut here and then we will see the video from the head cam footage from the thermostat replacement specifically on how this is done.
All right, guys, that's gonna conclude this video. Hopefully that was easy enough to follow. If you need any tips or information or there's anything I missed, feel free to leave a comment below the video. Um, I usually respond to pretty much every comment because it's a small channel and it's easy for me to do that. Uh, feel free to drop a comment, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like this type of stuff. I'm gonna start doing a lot more of it with this Duramax here because I'm trying to get it really, really solid for if I start going back out west hunting and all that kind of stuff that I plan on doing in the future here. So again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. This is Austin with Dream In Rotary. We will see you in the next video, whether you're watching Duramax videos, RX-7 videos, or the upcoming motorcycle videos.